Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildlife Camp and we are here in the wilds of Africa trying to take care of this poor little wee baby zebra and we did look at him last time. There we go and he does have bot flies so we're going to try to get rid of this little guy's bot flies but when I actually went to the village, alright stay here little one, but when I actually went over to the village, no 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 stay here, there we go. I couldn't find the guy who sells the medicine, so maybe we had to come and examine the zebra again. But yes, so, all right, before anything else, welcome back, everyone. We are in the wilds of Africa doing our best as wildlife warriors, I suppose is what we could call ourselves. We are mostly interested in veterinary practices, so our job is to go around and, ah, oh, there you are. This guy disappeared on me for a second. Our job is to go around and you can actually blow dart and free and like pull animals out of the mud uh, from the savanna or the safari and then you bring them or yeah the savanna actually and you bring them back to camp and then we work on healing them and training them so they can be released to the wild and releasing them off into the wild. It's actually pretty amazing and a lot 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 more in depth than I thought it was going to be. So we need, let's see, the green tablets used to treat African horse snakes. There we go, the blue tablets for bot flies. Let's go ahead and spend a little bit of money on that. I'm not really sure what else we should snag while we're here. Maybe just a few bandages, because those aren't too expensive. So let's grab some bandages, and then maybe a few pieces of plaster, just because those things aren't too terribly expensive. And then maybe uh, we'll grab like one nutritional supplement just so that we have a bit of supplies. I'm gonna feel a bit better having more supplies that we can offer to our animals. But don't forget you guys, we also have the wild plants that we can actually go over to the village to collect because there are quite a few wild plants that we can go gather and the shaman in the village will teach us how to use these so that we can help heal the animals, which is pretty darn cool. So I think we might go and collect some of that medicine and train up our little tiger, Zimba, so that he can be, or tiger, oh my goodness, I meant lion, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Train up Zimba, our little lion, so that he can be released into the wild. All right, come here, little one. I have the thing I need to treat you. All right, look at how fluffy this zebra is. Look at that fluffy, fluffy, fluffy zebra. I love it. All right, let's come on in. And we're going to go ahead into the treatment room. And we need to give him his treatment now. So this is for bot flies. And then I just have to put it on his mouth. Good work, you healed the zebra. Now you should feed it up and clean it nicely so that it's totally content again. All right, noted. All right, little guy, congratulations. Your big rump is a little bit in the way, but come on, come this way, come this way. And we're gonna bring him in and we're actually gonna take care of him and our little gazelle who has a broken leg and we'll see if we can make these guys feel a bit better. Look at all the food we've got. We'll see if we can get them pretty happy. All right, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah! Well done! You have cared for the zebra properly and it is now totally content again. The National Park Office rewards you with 200 gold coins for this. Wonderful! So now we have several animals. Let's come in and check in on our little gazelle to see where we're at here. The animal is a little bit, wants a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, so we can go ahead and give it a little pet. And it's a little bit thirsty. Don't escape! Little no, the zebra just escaped! Oh my gosh! I think the zebra just escaped. Oh my goodness. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think I need to go get him. All right. Stay here, little gazelle. So, all right. Let's go grab that zebra. Come here, little guy. Were you not ready? What are you doing? Okay, come here. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to convince you to come with me. Good. And then I think what we do is you have to like fully train them up and then release them into the savanna. And that's kind of the goal there. All right. Come on, little one. Oh, no, you don't. You are a sneaky little one. Come on. Come on. It will follow you. Oh, I guess you can only have one in each enclosure at a time. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Now there's a giraffe that needs treated. Oh, goodness. Now we have the achievement animal zookeeper. Oh, gosh. That's the... That's okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's definitely not the right enclosure to put it in. All right, so we need to get the giraffe. And let's bring this little one in here. Apparently, you can even get hippos at some point. So I think they need their own space is what that's telling me, perhaps. Or at least stay here. Stay there, little boy. All right. All right, so a warrior has just shown up with a giraffe for treatment. Hello, the giraffe has, has lost its herd and looks very ill. Can you take care of it? All right, I guess that's me. So let's come over. Let's give the giraffe a little pet. We're really starting to get into the flow of things, aren't we? All right, give it a little bit of affection. 
There you go, little guy. Let's go see what's wrong with you. Most pressing needs first, taking care of the injured animals. All right, let's come on in. We need to go ahead, give it a good little examination. Check all of the little legs. I guess it's tranquilized and that's why it's kind of passed out right now. So check all of the legs, check the little rump and the tail. Make sure that it's feeling good. Ooh, there we go. All right, gotta really examine all the, the little spots. Check the ears, check down at the hoof. And what do we have here? Come on, come on. A bandage! Oh, it has a flesh wound! We just got bandages, didn't we? Oh, I'm so happy! Look at me, I was really thinking about it. So it has like a little a little wound right here. Alright, and then we're wrapping the wound. That's so cool! So you have to kind of just like wiggle it around. And it has a wound on its little hoof. So come on, little guy. There we go. Now it's time to feed it, stroke it, and care for its coat to make it really happy again. So this guy apparently has quite a few little... little issues going on. Tell me about it, little guy. Look at his little bandage on his little leg. Okay, so he's pretty hungry. We can just go ahead and feed him really quickly because I've got the food on me. So let's go ahead and feed you. You're very hungry. Oh my goodness. And then I think he might want more food after that. So let me go ahead and grab another one. Oh, he wants a banana now. <laughs> I think I have like one banana left. I didn't know that giraffes are fond of bananas, but apparently they are. Hurry up! Somebody wants to talk to you. Go into your hut in the camp. Oh gosh, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, go into my hut? Okay. Come here, little giraffe. Can I put you in here with the, the antelope? Will it let me do that? Alright, come on in. Come on in. There we go. Come on. Alright, and I'm gonna stay here. Okay, you stay here. Don't run out. Stay here. You should be able to hang out with the antelope just fine. All right, go into our hut. I don't know what they're going to tell me, but we'll run in here. And then leave again? Okay. Or maybe it just meant come talk to this person versus go into your hut. I've discovered a lion in a very poor state in the savannah, east of the, the territory. You should go and take a look. Oh, boy. All right, so now we need to go find a lion that's actually doing kind of poorly. Oh, okay. And the lion, our current lion is pretty content. But I guess there's a lion that needs rescued. <laughs> so let's go do this. All right, off we go. We might end up getting Zimba, a companion at this rate. So we need to go past the village. And we're going into the savannah proper now. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a little bit intense. Can we stop by and talk with the people in the village? Maybe the shaman can tell us a little bit more about all the plants we've been gathering. In fact, there should be. Yeah, see right here? Oh, let's go ahead and gather up this plant. There should be more medical plants we can gather. This, oddly enough, in a weird sideways way, reminds me of Amazon Trail. How many of you guys ever tried Amazon Trail out? Man, that's reaching back into the ancient days. All right, let's come over. Let's talk to the shaman for a second. Anything we can say? No? Okay, what about over here? Anything I can say to you? Hello, Siri. How are you? Have you discovered any interesting medical plants yet? Please have a good look around. All right, I will definitely do that again in the future. Very nice to see both of you. I guess they want to see me get on with it and make sure we can go check on the, the little lion. All right. Can you find the poor lion? It must have a hiding place uh, somewhere. All right. So now we're looking, we're searching the savannah for this lion. Wow. Talk about trying to find a needle in a haystack all of a sudden. All right. So let's see if we can find it. Do I see anything over here? Hiding spot is it down here. Oh, oh, that's a hyena. What? No, 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 no. That has to be super dangerous. There's no way finding a hyena like that is not super dangerous. There's just, there's just no way. I'm being stalked by hyenas. Okay. Um, well, you know, if, but a if a creature is injured, it would make sense for it to come near, uh, the hyenas. All right, anything over here? All right, where are you, little guy? Last time we came over, we could actually see where there were several elephants in the distance. Wow, oh, there he is, I see him. You can see elephant herds and you can see zebra herds in the distance here, that's pretty amazing. Hello, little one. So you're pretty injured, huh? I guess I need to bring you back to camp. The animal likes you now, it will follow you until you chase it away. So it's injured, that means we need to take it immediately back to camp. Please don't eat my hand. <laughs> and is that what we're supposed to be doing? Heal the lion. All right. So let's go ahead. Come on, little one. Oh, he can't move very fast because he's hurt. 
I really hope we don't get pounced by that hyena. Did you see the hyena, you guys? I really, I don't, I don't feel like this is a very safe expedition, to be completely honest. So, all right, searching the savannah for the little cub. We found him. Now let's go ahead and get home as quickly as we can without getting eaten. I think it's right over here. Come on, little guy. Maybe if I just run, if I run straight out, will he just like magically come with me? Okay, well, we're going to check that theory. Is he magically with me? He is! Sweet! Okay, so we don't have to wait for him to kind of haul his very slow bunny hunkers. And, oh, here's another one of the medical plants. We can at least gather this while he's coming towards us. There you go, little one. Hang in there. Poor little sick lion cub. And there's more of the root extract. So we'll see what's wrong with him in just a second. I want to check over here for some medical plants on our way at home. Is that a medical plant right here? I found something. Wow. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh, what a lovely area. All right, we collected some medical grass. That can be used for something. So for mite infestations. All right, well, let's go ahead and get him home. Come on, little one. You'll actually just, you, you'll magically come with me if I, I move it pretty quickly. Let's get you back to camp so I can heal you up. Oh my goodness, it takes a little bit to travel around everywhere, doesn't it? Wait, it lost track of where I am? Oh no! You can lose it if you go too fast. Hang on there, bunny. Hang in there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel like I left you. Okay, you do have to go a little bit slower than that. Noted. All right. Come on. Let's get you back home. We've got to heal him up. And then I really think we need to focus on trying to train up our other lion cub, Zimba, and release him to the wild. Not to mention look over our little antelope. And hopefully, yeah, heading towards camp. There we go. And maybe if we manage to train up Zimba, we can release him pretty soon. And hopefully that'll give us more funds too. But we might be able to actually properly stock our medical camp, like our medicine den, if we can get a bit more funds at this rate. So then I could have at least one of everything and I wouldn't have to run back into town all the time. All right, and there's our little guy. All right, I think he's ready. We're gonna bring him inside to the treatment room. Let's give him a good examination and see what's going on. Oh, he looks so tiny and fragile on the table, doesn't he? Oh, hang in there, little one. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to just hold it down, I think? Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. Right there, right there, right here. All right, what's the diagnosis, doctor? Uh-oh, anxiety! Unknown, take this animal to the shaman, he can heal it. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, come on, little one. Now I have to take you back to the shaman. I think the shaman might teach us how to use the medical items if we do this. So let's go over. And apparently this little guy is just super anxious. Maybe because he was separated from his pride? I wonder if... Well, this one could be a female. Does it tell me? It just says lion. So let's keep going. All right, come on. We're going to go to the shaman. I know we just ran past. Too bad I don't have, like... All right, let's head into the territory. Too bad I don't have, like, a portable kit where I could just, like quickly diagnose them in the field and treat them there. Probably better to do that than for most diseases at least than like drag them back to camp. But you know the fracture that the antelope had, that probably definitely did need um like a little bit of TLC for longer term. You don't want to just throw a fractured antelope back into the wild cuz then it's a dead antelope. It's become antelope burgers for something. All right. And then I'm trying to walk nice and slow so we don't lose a little lion cub. All right. Come on, little guy. We've got this. Let's go ahead and talk to the shaman again. Uh, this creature seems to be possessed by evil spirits. I will drive them out of this poor creature. Oh, gosh. I don't know about this. Okay. How's our little lion cub doing? I'm going to give him a little pet. He's being healed right now, and he's got some good infection. Look at him. He's almost healed. All right. He's successfully healed. Sweet. So now what do I do with him? Okay. All right, he's pretty healed. I could, could I release him back to the wild? I guess we could train him. Uh, let's take him to our other lion cub. Let's see what happens if we take him to the other lion cub. Come on, little one. Can I just go ahead and feed you right here? I guess we could try feeding him right here. Yeah, so you can just feed him when they're just straight up in the fields like this. Can I train him here or do I need to train him off in the training area? Maybe in the training area. Hey, come here. Come here. I know you want it. I know you want it. He is ignoring me. He is totally ignoring me. That is so funny. Okay, come on. You've got to follow me a little bit longer. 
And then, are you full now? He's just a teensy bit hungry. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll head back into camp. And we'll see if we can put this little guy with Zimba. And then we'll see what happens next. I think next time I definitely want to focus on trying to get some of our animals out. Because the point of being an animal rescue like this is that you want to make sure the animals are able to go back out into the wild pretty much as quickly as you collect them. So, oh, a gazelle again. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, come on, little lion cub. I've got to put you in with the other lion cub and just cross my fingers that this is going to be okay. Come on, little one. Let's not put you in with the, gaze with the zebra. G the gazebra. All right, come on, come on. There we go. And you can hang out here with Zimba. Oh my gosh. And then next time, you guys, will have to treat the gazelle as well. And then start trying to train our animals because it looks like we're getting quite the rush of new creatures. So I'll see you guys and our amazing healing, uh, healing powers for these little wild ones next time. Bye-bye.